नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टी इज लाइव फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम आई एम तनवी खुराना एंड दिस प्रोग्राम इज एवरी वन हु इज स्टडिंग इन क्लास नाइन्थ टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर एन इंग्लिश स्टूडेंट एंड यू लाइक पोएम्स दैन दिस इज फॉर यू दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टाइटल इज विंड यस you all know what wind is but what is this poem all about and who is the writer of this particular poem we are going to get all the answers in this particular program all you have to do is raise your questions raise your doubts if you have any you can simply call us on our number that is 8800440559 and if you want to email us the email id would be dth.class9@ciet.nic.in at this moment you're watching us on evidya channel number 9 so let me please introduce the expert the guest for this program who is going to explain this chapter chapter number 2 to all of you she is dr ashwini sandeep patel ma'am a very warm welcome thank you thank you ma'am for being with us ma'am is an assistant professor from department of education in languages ncert new delhi so let's ask ma'am uh, because it's not just the chapter that we read we also read certain things about the author we also should know the name at least of the author so ma'am who has written this poem the wind uh, the title of the poem is wind mm. and it is written by subramanya bharti subramanya bharti is a tamil poet and he is known as a poet writer even journalist and social uh, reformer and even indian independence activist he uh, is a pioneer of modern tamil poetry and so he is known as uh, mahakavi bharati as well and he you know uh, wrote a number of patriotic Uh, poems as well and uh, the present poem is actually written in tamil language and later on it is translated uh, by a well known poet ak ramanujan into english language so we are going to enjoy this poem and learn some message from this present poem absolutely we are definitely going to enjoy this poem and um, i i would request you to please read out what exactly are the details of this poem and what uh, do we understand by wind in this particular chapter yes Ma'am. yes as you see uh, wind i told you it is uh, written in uh, the tamil language and translated into english language mm. but uh, before going to uh, delving deep into the poem let me ask one question to you people uh, what comes to your mind when you hear the word wind you know we listen some words and we uh, listen some sounds and we generate some visuals in our minds yeah. so what comes to your mind when you just hear this word wind so tanvi ji would you like to tell us sure sure uh, so when i um, see wind or when i feel wind then uh, i can see the leaves blowing i can see the clouds dark clouds i can see the birds they are running and uh, mostly they stop uh, flying so they stop uh, either at their own shelters or at some place and then uh, wind it also messes our hair so wind is yes, yes. Uh, like it, it just blows everything away yes it is a is a essential part of our life and yeah. wind it is a movement of air right now yes. so whatever associated with this air we may uh, generate some visuals and pictures in our uh, minds okay hmm. so here uh, see uh, whatever comes to our mind it may be a, f- a flying a kite or flying a paper aeroplane or uh, it may be having a picture of swaying tree whatever so these are some visuals we may generate but there are some people who might generate some other visuals as well like uh, forest fire and thunderstorm mm. as well right tornadoes Na- yeah so here uh, the wind blows strongly and causes lot of destruction and how can we make friends with it this sets the tone of the present poem okay, okay. so here wind is presented as a destructive force you know mm. uh, it is not soothing one it is not gentle one mm. it is present in in a other way mm. it is a destructive force and poet is going to give us a wonderful message here as you ask me to read the pro- 
pro present poem, we are going to recite it once and then I will try to explain the poem to you. See this is the first stanza of the poem, wind come softly, do not break the shutters of the windows, do not scatter the papers, do not throw down the books on the shelf. There look what you did, you threw them all down, you tore the pages of the books, you brought rain again, you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts, the wind caught, we knows and crushes them all. He won't do what you tell him. So, come, let us build strong homes, let us join the doors firmly, practice to firm the body, make the heart steadfast, do this and the wind will be friends with us. The wind blows out weak fires, he makes strong fires roar and flourish, his friendship is good, we praise him every day. So, these are you know uh, stanzas of this present poem and uh, let us start uh, it from the first stanza. Here the poet you have got it, the poet is addressing to the wind, wind. and asking uh, the wind to come softly, mm -hmm. to come gently. So, you know wind uh, when it comes softly we call it as a breeze mm -hmm. and when he, it, it takes a speedy form and it becomes strong one then we call it storm, yeah. right now. So, poet here is talking with uh, the wind and asking the wind to come softly we cannot say asking just he is requesting the wind mm. to come softly and he says uh, or he requests that do not break the shutters of the windows. Shutters means uh, you know the window panes. Yes, 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 protective covers of the window yes. and he says do not break the shutters of the window. Mm. So, do not just break those windows and do not scatter the papers, do not, do not, do not now, you know spread the papers, do not throw down the books on the shelf. So, do not do all these things, poet does not like disturbance. Mm -hmm. And here what the wind does, wind, uh, uh, the wind is shuttering the things and wind is not coming softly mm -hmm. as the poet expecting here. So, let me tell you um, here the this wind is uh, here poet is talking to the wind and here wind symbolizes challenges in our life. Okay. So, uh, the poem is highly symbolic and when it is symbolic you know there are two meanings one is a literal meaning and another one is a symbolic meaning. So, two layers of meaning we can uh, generate from the present poem. Okay. So, Symbolic in the sense the throughout the poem the poet talks with the wind and asks the wind uh, to, to, to do some favors and he is not actually asking the wind to do some favors, he is asking to the challenges to the problems in our life to be soft, to be gentle and do not disturb our lives, do not just shatter our lives, just be, be uh, softly. So, he is actually talking to the wind. Uh, but he is actually talking to the problems in our life. Nice. So, this is the first stanza of the uh, poem. Coming to the second stanza, what happens? What do you think? Will this wind listen to the poet? No. Not at all, because the wind is not going to follow human orders, mm -hmm. right? So, what happens? We may uh, imagine that there, look what you did. So, wind has done its work. What mm -hmm. you did? you threw them all down. So, you threw them all down means you disturb everything, mm. right. Now, I asked you, I requested you means poet is saying that I requested you do not disturb it, but you did the uh, thing, right. Now, mm. you threw them all down, you tore the pages of the books, you brought rain again and you are very clever um, at poking fun at weaklings. So, here uh, the wind does its work and disturbs everything including uh, you know windows and uh, papers and books and uh, that wind disturbs his room means he disturbs his mind and uh, the poet 
warned us at the power of this wind and this wind brings rain again and again. So, rain is you know it is a natural phenomena mm -hmm. and uh, that is both life sustaining and destructive as well. Right. And uh, last line of the poem uh, this stanza is important one the, he says to the uh, wind that you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings. Mm -hmm. So, you love to poke fun of weak things right now. Mm -hmm. So, here what is this weakling means weak things, weak people, yeah. weak, things. weak things and poking fun at means what making fun, fun of. of in a in a very light hearted manner making fun of the things. Mm. So, what does uh, this wind uh, uh, love, wind loves to make fun of weak things especially whatever they are weak and delicate that is going to be destroyed due to the power due to the force of the wind ok. This is the second stanza. Okay. Coming to the third stanza, poet says frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lies, crumbling hearts, the wind god we knows and crushes them all. Frail, frail means what? Frail means delicate, mm -hmm. okay, weak or delicate and crum crumbling means breaking or uh, falling apart into pieces. So, frail crumbling houses, houses those houses which are frail, frail means weak, weak. they are going to shatter into pieces mm -hmm. due to why? Due to the force of the wind. wind. So, houses are weak here, doors are weak, rafters are weak, wood is weak, bodies are weak, lives are weak and so human hearts are also weak. So, you know you just observe this, these all are human possessions and whatever humans uh, you know uh, possess all their possessions and all their belongings are weak right and that is why uh, all those things are crumbling here, shattering into pieces due to the force of the wind and see the last line of this sansa the wind god we knows and crushes them all. So, here wind god he poet calls the wind as a god and wind god we knows and crushes them all means here the wind god is going to separate uh, unnecessary stuff from uh, your room or your uh, lives and that is going to blow away. Um, the weak things ok mm. and poet re-emphasizes here the divine and powerful nature of the wind which is capable of separating and crushing everything in its path ok. So, here what the stanza uh, suggests us here that whatever humans have created mm. all those things firstly what people have built for themselves their houses, doors, rafters, wood they use and their bodies means whatever they are they have created and whatever they have in their life ok mm. or in those houses all these things are weak mm. and their even bodies are weak and their lives are weak their lives in the sense minds are weak, their hearts are weak means they are not physically and strong. mentally strong enough. Mm. Poet here wants to convey that, that that human possessions and belongings are weak and they are not going to be there forever or not going to uh, not able to face the force of the wind mm. means not uh, not uh, they are not able to face the challenges in their life. This is the symbolic layer of the present stanza mm. ok. Coming to the, the next stanza what mm. poet says here, he would not do what you tell him. So, here poet realizes what he would not do what you tell him. So, does that mean that uh, uh, no matter what we request or what we uh, think that this should happen in our life, it is not uh, really necessary that this will actually happen. Exactly. So, it is not in our hands yeah. right now. We are just uh, you know puppets, puppets. right <laughs> now. So, whatever comes to our way we have to accept it. Mm. And poet realizes here in the first stanza he requests the wind, but later on he realizes that no wind the wind is not going to listen us. Mm. So, what is there a, at our hands 
what is there and poet becomes you can say somewhat wiser here okay okay and he 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 now addresses his people and so he says so come let's build strong homes mm. so what can we do we can build strong homes we can join the doors firmly uh, we can practice to uh, make our body strong, strong right now and we can make the heart stay fast and if we succeed to do all these things mm -hmm. then the wind will be friends with us mm -hmm. okay so here literal meaning you got it symbolically word poet wants to convey here this all these things if we make them strong if mm -hmm. may, we make our possession strong if we make our mind strong our body strong then uh, the challenges in your life the problems in your life or obstacles in your life will not uh, you know Hurt. dismantle you Hurt yeah us those or will harm not harm us no yes harm at all mm -hmm. so be strong enough to face the force of the uh, all these things means mm. your problems and obstacles and uh, uh, there are so many things in our life we face but what and how can we face all those things being strong mentally as well as physically and that is at our hands and we have to work on that. So, this stanza present stanza is important from that point of view ki now we became somewhat wiser and we realize that so what is our hand we have to look after all those things instead of and you know, asking uh, you know impossible things and mm. uncontrollable uh, controllable things uh, to um, do something for us and last line of the present stanza is also important do this and the wind will be friend wi friends with us mm. so wind will be friends with us means what poet wants to convey here if you become strong enough if you look at your possessions and at your body and mind and if you make it uh, strong then you can uh, establish friendship with your problems even mm. ok. So, this is essential and this is necessary and we should realize that we can succeed, we can grow in our life by making ourselves, ourselves mentally and uh, physically strong. strong. See, uh, this is the last stanza of the poem. The wind blows out weak fires, he makes strong fires roar and flourish, his friendship is good, we praise him every day. See, the wind blows out weak fires, again poet tells us that the wind blows out weak fires, again he is you know reiterating the same thing, he is trying to convince uh, people that you just uh, uh, pay the attention towards this the powerful uh, element of the nature the wind and that wind has the capacity to blow out weak uh, fires mm. weak fires so and opposite happens see the next line he makes strong fires roar and flourish ok so see the in these two lines there is a presence of fire mm. ok but in the first line there is a presence of weak fire while in the second line there is a presence of strong, strong fire. fire. So, here wind's quality is that to blow out weak things mm. rather it supports strong things mm. ok and he makes strong uh, you know fires roar and flourish mm. ok and the wind supports only strong things and destroys weak things and as I told you wind symbolizes what? it symbolizes challenges in our life, mm. problems in our life and all those problems only come to test our power ok. So, if we face those powers courageously and uh, strongly you can say the problems will uh, disappear ok. So, what we have to do here we have to make ourselves strong to face the challenges in our life to face problems in our life. And last two lines of the uh, poem, his friendship is good. Mm -hmm. If you become strong enough, then his friendship is good. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will disappear, yeah. right? <laughs> and we praise him every day. Mm -hmm. What poet wants to convey here, his friendship is good and we praise him every day means he appreciate the power of being strong. 
if we become strong then we can establish friendship with our problems even ok. And so, here we have to just change our attitude and instead of regretting having problems and obstacles in our life, we should look at those problems uh, positively. You know those problems come to test our uh, power, to test our strength right now. So, if we make yourself strong enough mm -hmm. then what will happen problems will disappear yeah. or you will become stronger than those problems mm. and those problems will help you to grow and prosper even right Absolutely. grow and flourish even. Absolutely. So, problems can come in our life to make us strong. strong. So, we have to look at those problems as you know uh, they are a positive force in our life, they are uh, here to make us strong, to make us uh, grow and flourish. Right. So, this is the attitude in that way we can establish friendship with those problems and obstacles and poet says in the last line we praise him every day. So, every day we face problems, mm. but what we have to do? We have to praise all those problems in our life and then we may enjoy this journey. Absolutely. Right? The journey is very important. It is not just the destination which is always important. So, ma'am in this process when we talk about the challenges in everyone's life on day to day basis, um, why do you think is it, it is important for a person to have problems? What problems does to a person? Um, you already said that it makes you stronger, but apart from that what else? See, you know problem solving skill, it is a skill and it is attitude which is quite essential in 21st century. You know we are surrounded by many problems at a personal level as well as at a social level, professional level and it is quite essential to handle those problems in a smooth way. Right, right now to be successful in our life we must look at those problems uh, in a positive way right mm. and you know why it is important to have problems because we when you get problems then and then you only realize that I have this problem I can solve this. So, you can develop problem solving attitude also this is the quality of being leader as well. Mm. So, to develop that and to grow, grow, grow and uh, to become successful and to be a leader all these things are essential in our life. This is my opinion. Mm -hmm. Very well said ma'am. I am sure uh, all the viewers also think this way and they are going to deal with the problems that they face uh, in the most positive manner possible. Apart from this ma'am, uh, when we uh, read any story or any poem in English, we also learn certain phrases, certain words that are new for us. So, with this uh, poem, Wind, uh, are we learning any phrases or any new words? Yes, you heard just one phrase poking fun at yes. and I told you poking fun at means making fun of the things in a mm. very light hearted manner and that happens in uh, everybody's life ok. So, we must know that uh, he or she is making uh, fun of me means he is poking uh, at me ok. Another word uh, that is we know you may have heard actually uh, it while uh, discuss, uh, discussing about that we knowing uh, means uh, you know separating chaff from the grains, but here mm -hmm. wind uh, God wind we knows means here what happens the God wind or the wind we knows means wind uh, separates uh, chaff from the grains. This is one meaning and at the uh, uh, symbolic uh, uh, layer we can say that separating um, unnecessary stuff from our life. and use just removing all those negative things and being strong and being posi positive. Okay. All right ma'am, thank you so much for adding certain things to our dictionary and thank you for explaining the poem in so much detail that uh, we not just understood it, but uh, we loved it. Thank you so much for being thank with us. Thank you so much for calling me here. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you to all the viewers as well for being a part of this program. I really think that you enjoyed this English class as much as I did and with this uh, we uh, learned a new words, some new words. We have understood this chapter, chapter number 2, wind. Please read it once again at your own end and uh, make sure that you are learning each and everything about wind. 
and what does wind symbolizes in this particular poem. So, uh, we are wrapping up this particular program, but uh, upcoming program is a science program for all the class students who are studying in class 9th and uh, the topic that will be discussed will be tissues. So, stay with us, don't go anywhere and keep your questions ready. I am Tanvi Kurana and I will take a leave of you. Thank you, have a great day ahead. Namaskar.